Um, today we're going to learn how to move this character here, Scratch. We're going to learn to have him walking across the screen and when he gets to the end of the screen the scene is going to change and the character will come back to the front of the screen. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a screen. So we're just going to go to the backdrop icon and we're going to choose a backdrop and we'll just start with the first one, the Arctic. And then we'll just move our character to the left hand side of the screen. Actually we'll set the perimeters to negative 200 and y at negative 100. Okay, so here we are. The character is at the left hand side of the screen. Uh, we'll pick another backdrop. Uh, let's choose uh, blue sky and we'll choose another one. Uh, let's go with uh, let's see, a desert. Okay, so now we have three backdrops. Alright, so the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to our commands over here on the left hand side of the screen and we're going to click events. The very first thing we're going to click is we're going to click on when the start button is clicked, which is the green flag, where the character is going to start moving. So we're going to drag and drop the first block of code into our coding section. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to looks and because there's layers now we have a character and a screen we want to make sure that the character is in front of the screen so we're going to um, Go to go to front layer. I'm going to drag and drop that. So we want the sprite here to be in the front of the backdrop. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to set rotation style. So we want the character to move walking uh, left and right on the screen. So we're going to choose set rotation style. And we're just going to drag and drop. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into our control function and we're going to grab the forever box. We're going to drag and drop in here. The next thing that we're going to do is we want uh, the costume to change. So we want to show the animation of the character look like he's walking. So we're going to go into looks and we're just going to find next costume and so gonna, oh here it is. We're going to click, drag and drop it inside the forever box. The next thing that we're going to do is we want the motion of the cat to be walking so we need to add movement so we're going to add move 10 steps. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and what we want is um, if we're looking through here we want to have uh, if and then. So we're going to grab the if and then box and drop it under the move 10 steps and then we're going to click on sensing. So we want the sense. So when the character hits the screen, we want the, the screen to change, but we also want the character to go back to the front of the screen. So it looks like um, the character is entering a new screen from the left hand side. So once we've moved this block over, we're going to find touching the edge. I'm going to move and we're going to drag and we're just going to drop it over this little box. You can see how it changes color. So we're going to drop it in there. So if touching the edge, then we want to tell the computer where we want to send the, our character. 
So when the character is sent, we're going to go back to motion and we're going to go, we want to go to, okay, so I have the perimeters in there already. So minus 200 and minus 100 is actually where the sprite is now. So that's where the sprite is going to end up when it hits the end of the screen. And then we also want our backdrop to change once the character hits the edge of the screen. So we're going to go to next backdrop. So when we hit the green button, hit play, we're going to see our character walking and the screen is going to change. So I'm just going to hit stop. If we go into backdrops, and go to backdrops. We can delete scenes, so we have actually we have a scene that's just a blank screen. So we're going to click that. Just get rid of that. So now you can see the three scenes that we do have. Just go back to code. Hit on the sprite so you can see the code, and then hit the green button again, and you can see the code. Uh, and that is our. Um, we, a character is actually moving a little bit fast, so what we can do is we're going to stop this and we're going to go and go to um, control and we're going to hit weight. And we're going to bring weight and we'll drop it down under where the movement is and we'll just type in 0.05 and so let's try again. So the character is slowed down walking. And that's how we animate the character to move across the screen and for the scene to change.